Hello everybody, what is happening? Welcome back to my channel. Lizard Raptor here and we are playing Starfield, where we are going to run the Red Mile. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can stick on me gun. Can't do a suppressor yet because I haven't done muzzle mods too. I could stick a compensator on it. But it's just going to make the gun look ugly. Uh, anything else? Not really. Just leave it. Have I got a sidekick for this? Oh, is that her coming, is it? There she is. Let's go. Well, this should be fun. It has been some time since I have visited the Red Mile. Little has changed, it seems. Listen, I couldn't think of anyone better to have my back down here than you, Andresia. I think we're going to go with this. <coughs> I had wanted to use a pistol, but I didn't realise I only had 35 rounds. <coughs> Someone or something will clean up whatever is left behind. like the snow effect. That's pretty decent. It looks blizzardy. I'll do it. That took a fair few bullets, but in the end, it died. Is that another kind of creature there? It's dead, but at least it gives me a sort of look at what I'm up against. I should scan these things as well, shouldn't I? A leaf bug herbivore. Really need to get my scanner upgraded as well so that I can scan from further away. I need to be within sort of eight meters. Oh, look at it. What a shame. Right. Does it matter what path I take? Probably does. We'll figure that out as we go, though, eh? Explosive barrel I can use there. Good to know if I need to fall back. I've got mines and stuff on me as well that I can dump. I've also got like a grenade launcher. The direct path is working for me so far, but I can't help but think that this just lures me into a false sense of security. There's another leaf bug's body. There is something down here apparently. I mean, it's it's not a cakewalk so far. I know it looks like it, but that that mauler could have had me. Like, is that for selling later or personal use? It's for personal use. So we've got the lithium marked off. This would be a pretty good planet to set an outpost up on, given the elements are lithium, water, chlorine. And aluminium, they are resources you need for... I've gained frostbite because I've been out without protection for too long. Does it drain health or just damage health? The leaf bugs are herbivores, that's fine. Terra root, scan it. If I stand still, will this thing come near me and I'll be able to... I'll be able to scan it. No, come back, bug! I want to scan you! No, don't run away. I'm just scanning it. There we go. Oh, 
built. They sound sinister. That did sound quite sinister, but uh, yeah. So we've got frostbite. I think I've taken a little bit of damage from the frostbite, but to be honest, I'm not that worried about it. Here's another red mile mauler. She Alright, aye, she is good. Well, old faithful's doing it so far. I might have to see if I can change its name to that. I don't know if you can change weapon names in this. You could do it in Fallout 4, which was cool. I like the idea of being able to do that, you see. This is the gun that's carried me since one of the early episodes, what was it, two or three I got this in? And your scan shows... Uh, my scan shows happiness. Here we go, water scan. I think I need that for something, don't I? I'm going to pick up some of this, because I think I need it for the cooking. Some. Something heard me or saw me. It's scanning, come on, this is so annoying. And my, I was playing my the, the file from my first playthrough the other day, and there's a level 19 mauler. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was playing through my first file just to get to grips with the controls a little better, and when I was playing it the other day, I know I've got my scanner upgraded so that its range is extended to like 40 meters. So within like 40 meters, I can scan objects and it's so much easier. You can scan so many resources on the fly. Like I could scan that from like right now instead of having to do what I'm doing, which is walking right up to it. It is a gas as well, so I need to be careful because these can damage it. Uh, like that, fantastic, well done. <laughs> Long damage added. Brilliant. Right, let's see. What have I got? I've got... Yeah, I've got some afflictions gathered up here, but hopefully we'll get... There's another mauler up there. I don't think this is shelter enough, but I might be able to take... What on earth is going on over here? He's having a fit. Calibrated Rattler, Calibrated Grendel. Some mauler up there. Yeah, it's round there. Oh no, it's right in front of me. There it is. Well, we don't need to be quiet anymore. Not to be responsible for any industrial-sized accidents while we are here. 
Well, I'll do my best not to hit barrels and stuff, Andresia, but I'm not promising anything, particularly if there's uh, enemies beside it. mate round here never even noticed. He just didn't want to play apparently. He was just like, nah, it's cool. Go ahead. There's got to be a bigger enemy, like something that has a realistic chance of killing me, somewhere up here. Has to be. Extra ammunition is always welcome if they have any. Uh, I don't think he did. Yes, I got a magazine. He's got a kraken. Don't want it. He's got a digi pick that's handy. Always like those. Anything here worth taking? Yeah, I got a couple of things. <laughs> What's seen me? Yeah, I'll take it on hand to hand. Next. Here they come. the way I came, surely, no? Better take our med pack. Actually, should I see if I can treat these? There's my aid. This can... There we go. Now I need the one that can fix... Oh, there we go. Injector. Perfect! Do I just make a run for it, do we think? Or... That's a Helium-3 storage tank, but I don't think I have access to it. No, I don't. This is the way I came. I hate the way it shadows my... And there is I get out of my way. It, like, the way the light glare affects the sight.
I mean, I've got a decent amount of ammo, to be fair, Andresia. I'm not afraid of using this stuff up. There was another one up here. There was a level six. Saw it. I if it will show up on the scanner. Yeah, there it is there. I didn't mean to shoot you there, Andresia, sorry. You did run right across my line of sight, though. So I'm going to have to fight my way back as well. I think this is the way I came, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's the vent that I got burnt at. Try not to do that again. Especially since I fixed my lung damage. There is something around. Here it is. Anything else in the immediate area? No. Ooh, a vine. I shall stand guard while you focus. I crossed that lithium field the last time, so... I figured out why my boost pack wasn't happening, by the way. No doubt you guys I'd already figured it out, but I haven't put any points into boost pack training. Every time he hits me, I interrupt some of reload. Is she dead? Uh. Right, I'm gonna have to. this out, reload it, and get this out. Oh, Jesus, I've taken a heck of a pound in and I've got three med packs left. Woofed! Andresia, get in here now. Boom. Red mail ran. That was tough 
far and not than I thought it was going to be. Uh, into my thing, into my spacesuit. Take that off. Aid, I need the one for the lungs again because I've screwed my lungs apparently. Hypothermia cured, there we go. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. If the Red Mile were easy, I'd go out of business. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Hmm. This is hopeless! I'm out! What's happening? You made it. What is happening? What is going on? Where are you going? Oh, how frustrating. I don't understand what's happened. Oh, that's what's happening. You are making a bit of a scene here. How? Where did that come from? Oh well, have you got ammo on you? Yeah, you do. Thanks, man. You might want to stim pack your guy. You must be tougher than you look. Where is she? You are well done. Thanks. Look at that. Try it again. You've still got all your limbs. Running sometime. Talk to me and talk about this. You're alive, and that's what matters most. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Thanks. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. Aww. I was awful to you at first. I'll take the apology. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. So all of those weirdos down there are going to go in and out the door now. I need to talk to me. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, Runner. Thank you. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Nice. Right. Uh, is there uh, anyone I can buy stuff from here? You have patrons. 
Mate, if you give me grief, I swear to God, I will put a bullet in your skull so fast. Hey, you're the captain of it. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. And don't get me wrong. I used but when May started building this place up and I heard those mercs. Sure as May, she's good. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality. Anyway, I'm sure you're already. Yeah, you just tell me. Nope. Nope. Possibility. What's its weapons like? Its engines aren't as fast. Its grav drives faster. It's a bit sleeker. Ooh, is that called Narcissus? <laughs> what an interesting idea. That's quite a cool ship, I like that. I don't have anywhere near the credits for buying any of these. Mustang's exactly what I'm flying right now. I'd have considered that. So that's a pretty solid upgrade, but... See ya. Thanks, man. Uh, right, so there is nowhere I can buy extra gear here. I w it wasn't so much gear that I wanted to buy as uh, get some more med packs and stuff, but I suppose. Oh, did you raided this guy? No, I didn't. There we go. Is never necessarily the aim, but something so this guy got mauled by it as well. How? Why did the creatures spawn up here? This isn't even part of the mile. Was it because I, I just ran up and something follow me? And then it's just like clipped through the map. But oh, there's a, one of those things, I hate them. Like heat leeches they're called or something? Oh no, it's a space roach. Nice. My protection was just about to run out there. Let's get my spacesuit off just now so that it can recharge. Are all my guns reloaded? No, I'm going to reload them all now. I'm good. Well, ish. Good ish. That's fully loaded. That's fully loaded. That's fully loaded. Good. Right, so after having had my ass kicked. Hey there. Hey man, how you doing? Oh, that's a digipick, I'll have that. That'll give me some health back. Lynn catching some Z's. What are we at? 28 minutes. Well, we can at least fly to the next objective. Oh jeez, oh. Got to fly to Olympus first. Oh, it's out of fuel range, right. You know fuel doesn't actually matter, because when I arrive here, I'm going to be able to go... Uh, straight into... Oh, someone's hailing me. me. Do you have a minute? I'm a scientist. I could use some help with my research. Hello there, and thank you for responding to my hail. <laughs> been a long time since I had company. Okay. I'm Dr. Sola Banglawala from Mast in New Atlantis. I'm performing a geological survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. Okay. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. Oh, I don't think I do. I can't thank you enough. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. I understand. Uh, I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old junker's... 
Ah, sorry, I couldn't help you, Doc. Sorry, this is taking longer than usual. So, do you have any hobbies? If you haven't tried it yet, give Origami a shot. I've been folding paper birds and flying them across the ship in zero G. That actually sounds really Personally, cool. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> it's very true. Did you ever hear the one about the geologist and the music shop? It's a good one. A geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, Got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, <laughs> so you don't even get the punchline. That's fantastic. Yeah, let's go. Spill up the grav drive. Here we go. Ready? So this is Kodos. That's his ship, isn't it? Yeah, Fortuna. It's quite a healthy planet. We're at 31 minutes, so once we land, I'm going to call it here and we will meet this jackass in the next episode. Thanks for joining me for this one, guys. Whatever you get up to, take care. I will see you again real soon for another episode.